Oh, excuse me, I just ate knickknacks and I regret eating the knickknacks because now I feel yucky. Ooh, and I probably shouldn't have eaten it. <sighs> it's been months. Holy fuck. I'm okay. I'm doing this for probably the fifth fucking time because I have re-recorded this in this interview <laughs> re-recorded this intro so many times over the past couple of months but i'm hoping that this time i'm actually going to follow through with the vlog so hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are still a subscriber who never left after these few months hi again um a lot of shit's been going down man 2023 20, has just been ugh. Like, 2022 was rough, but this year, I don't know what it is. I feel like every year you hope for something good and then it, everything just, it just keeps getting fucked up. Things are changing, life is changing, and I've been wanting to document a lot of stuff for a while. But um, I haven't been following through with it and I've been kind of scrapping it every time because, uh, mainly because of the reason that I'm not happy with the way that I look in the footage because... Uh, self-esteem has been super fucking low lately anyway so this year has just been completely crazy 2023 my job started to suck the back to office mandate started taking a bit too much out of me um, and yeah it just you know when it's when you have something that you give let's say 90% of your life to because it's five days a week eight hours a day um, and if you go into the office add another four fucking hours onto that and it makes you miserable it just drains you completely so yeah my job went from being something that i really enjoyed to something that i dreaded and became so bored of second i got two really big diagnoses this year from my doctor one being diabetes and two being stage three endometriosis and i have been diagnosed with pre diabetes and at the rate that I'm going with how badly I'm treating my diet etc I'm probably borderline diabetes type 2 by now um, and endometriosis which I suspected for a very long time in my life but now that I actually got the full-on diagnosis um, it kind of hit me that I was right the entire time I just didn't want to consult the doctor and go through the process uh, to get the diagnosis and three I also have been diagnosed with um, early stages of PCOS which is just also something that I probably expected those three things have kind of altered my brain chemistry in a way because my depression and anxiety kind of wasn't allowing me to make ends meet when it came to my health and my mental health and you know reversing diabetes and getting back to gym and stuff none of that has been going well and obviously that drove me into a bit of a deeper depression this year next big life thing i lost someone extremely close to me uh this year thanks to thanks to cancer um, and that was a rough time and I think that it was very different for me because I dealt with it in a very different way compared to how I have in the past when I've lost people not really the greatest couple of months as well and we've been dealing and grieving and I've been dealing and grieving in my own way and that all of that on top of the frustrations of load shedding and now water we have no fucking water in Madrid but light at the end of the tunnel the reason why I am vlogging this right now is because I am officially eight days including today away from my very last day at my current company because beginning of this month i put in my resignation thank god because if you if you've seen in the beginning i said i was half of my job but i got a great opportunity with another company and um it's almost too good to be true which is why i have not really spoken about it i haven't journaled about it because um, I'm scared that if I touch it, it will break. And on top of that, my husband also is serving notice. The day after I got my offer, he also got an offer. And he will also be working from home. So we'll see where this goes, I guess. But um, we're cleaning up the house. It's not a vlog on my channel unless you guys are seeing me clean and do chores. And yeah, I guess we'll see where the vlog goes from, from, from here. Anyways, let's do this, shall we?
Honestly, I think I, I so zoomed in. Don't realize how dehydrated you actually are until you take a sip of water and it goes down like really quickly. Look at this cutie. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, hi. Your summer so good. Good morning. Update. We have absolutely no water whatsoever now. We didn't even get like 30 minutes of water flow this morning. Um, we have absolutely nothing and it looks like we're not going to have water for a while. Like seriously, we can't win and load shedding was suspended. So basically, we can't have electricity and water at the same time. It's just it's asking for too much. You, you can either have one or the other. You just can't have both at the same time. I have a couple of deliveries that should be coming. And I'm excited because it's like the first time in two years that I've done like a haul. Like a, a mini shopping haul for myself. Anyway, nothing interesting right now. Just having my cup of coffee. Uh, I doubt you can see but there's kitties chilling out on the balcony outside. And yeah, we shall see where this goes, I guess. Of the business. Um, got a lot of work to do. Those guys are walk to the wall every single day. Anyway, so the stuff I got from Impreca are things I've actually wanted for a long time. I think the past two winters I've been, I know it's summer, it's hot and I'm buying winter stuff. Um, but it's because it's cozy and it's comfy, okay? It's almost like the Skims, you know, fluffy, comfy sets. Uh, but I got it from Impreca in the pink and the brown. And um, okay, it's inside out now, but it's just this little tank. And it comes with shorts. And then I bought the long pants for it as well. And then it also comes with like a cardigan. And I bought it in the brown set as well. Um, and it's so freaking soft like it's softer than I thought it was gonna be like you can see the material yeah look at that material it is so freaking soft and the quality is a lot better than I actually thought it was gonna be and then um, in the same kind of material I just got the gray in this short sleeve uh, shirt and also the long pants and then I just got um, some a track pants and a matching tee set just for like everyday wear so it's just a normal track pants with a matching tee and then i got the same set in this like blush pink and a black because you can never not need a black right this is the other package that i got and i'm gonna need let me just use my eyebrow scissors um, so I needed to get candles because I freaking love my candles and I ran out. I found a company called Nature's Forest and when I went to check they were actually on special but it looks like it's going to be good quality and the burn time is like 60 hours on this. And oh beautiful. <laughs> really well packaged. By the way. Um, they are available on take a lot as well but I bought directly from the website look at it so it is a double wick candle this one is cinnamon buns uh, it is soy wax as well which is a lot better than paraffin wax obviously and it's a double wick it's like a wooden a wooden lid but it's got like the normal metal jar lid on the inside I believe oh my god it smells like cinnabon okay the next one i got is let that brighten up uh brown sugar and fig you can see how cute like the the details you'll see on each of them are different according to the scent so it's pink i got oatmeal and honey and then uh coconut shea or Shea, I don't know how to say it. And then the one I'm looking forward to, I got freshly brewed coffee. This is gonna definitely be like my morning candle to light in. Mm. It smells like when you walk into a coffee shop. Hi guys, 
guys, it's Friday. Um, I just got another package. So I'm just gonna open it. Um, update, we still don't have any water. But update, I took a whole lot of five liter bottles this morning um, to my husband's work and he had water there. So we stole their water, I guess. Anyway, so I just got some stuff from Typo. I have a meeting in like 10 minutes. So I just wanna film this quickly. So um, I mainly ordered from here to buy a gift for my brother for his birthday. And um, I didn't know what to buy him, so I told him I'm, I'm just gonna buy you socks. Um, so he thinks I'm buying him boring socks, but I bought him fun, fun socks. So I got him this uh, box of socks from Typo. Um, <laughs> and then I got this one with a whole lot of fuck yous on it. And then I got this one for him that just says fuck on it. And then I got this one with mushrooms. So a little bit of an inside joke kind of present for him. Um, and then I also candles one special. And I did mention I'm stocking up on candles. So I got these tell it like it is candles. Mm, smells nice. So that one. And then I got blueberry cheesecake. Oh, it actually smells like blueberry cheesecake. Okay, so that one. Mango and dragon fruit. This is always right. Smells like I told you so. And then the last one is a full parent. You know, I had to get this. Smells like a real child to me. Hey, child. Um. The mugs one special and I used to love collecting just like cute mugs and I don't know I stopped when we moved here I think maybe because of space issues but now I was like fuck it I used to genuinely enjoy collecting mugs so I'm gonna start again just fuck just like those socks snooze the day away if the camera will focus then you'll be able to see but where the fuck would we be without coffee? Always tired club. Oh, this is my favorite one. This, this is totally me. This one is ask me about my cat. And yeah, so I am busy with work and then I'm meeting up with a friend for lunch today. Um, so I'm gonna do work and stuff and then later on go for lunch and then go and get my husband from work. And I have my exit interview now, and I have no idea how to do an exit interview. Um, but I'm just gonna be honest, but like professional at the same time, but I don't know. I don't even know how this is gonna go.
What's up? I got boba. Because if I go anywhere where there's boba, I'm going to get a boba. My last package came. So I guess I'm going to close this vlog off with um, this particular haul from Superbalist. Um, it's not a lot. I just picked up some things that will hopefully fit. And if they don't fit, I'm just going to return them. I got a jeans from H&M. I'm really hoping it fits because I don't know what their sizes are. But I'm usually a size 12 and I got a 14 instead because I heard that you should size up um, with H&M pants. Fuck! They make it impossible for you to open it carefully. Lord, please. Oh, it might actually fit me. Hey! Then we might have a winner. Oh, my thighs. It might, it might suffer around my thighs a bit, but we'll try it on. Then I got a black like this as well. Then I got a cute dress. Oh, it's stretchy. Yeah, so it's just a summer dress. It's a long maxi dress. Uh, okay, it doesn't have a slit in it. And the material is like really stretchy. You see that? So I hope this will look cute. And then here's the sneakers. Yeah, just a pair of white sneakers. So I got a black dress, which I'm hoping will look nice enough. Oh, cute. Oh, it's got a slit. So it's like a maxi dress as well. But it's got a cap sleeve, which I like. There's like a, you can't even see. There we go. You can, there's a slit at the bottom. And then there's another maxi dress. Also just got it because the color was cute and it's nice to have maxi dresses just lying around. And it's also got this rouge ring, this pull in so you can like cinch your waist in. Then I just got two tops. It's this black and white wrap top. Oh, I think this will look lovely. And then lastly, just this uh, a bit plain black top that's also stretchy which looks like it's gonna be a bit big for me that that's about it guys so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I've been getting snippets here and there everywhere and that's that guys so thank you so much for sticking around and for seeing what life has been up to lately um, I I'm sitting here thinking back, not even remembering what footage I got for this video, but I guess you guys have all seen it now. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And yeah, let's hope that I pick up this camera and I don't wait another eight months. Another eight months or six months to upload a video again. So with that, I love you guys. Have an awesome day ahead, an awesome week ahead, and adios, amigos.